So why are natural testosterone levels checked early in the morning when they are highest and once we are on TRT, we check it at the trough? Explain this. That's a good question. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. So when we check your natural production, we know that it's going to deteriorate over the course of the day because men who produce testosterone naturally follow what's called a circadian cycle. And that is a 24 hour cycle of peaking as they sleep and produce more peaking in the morning and then starting to decline as the day goes by. We want to see where your optimal levels are. What are you able to achieve? What is the peak serum level that you are able to produce naturally with the understanding that that is going to be the highest point you're able to achieve? And then anything below that is naturally going to occur as a result of this gradual decrease as the day goes by. Once you approach a medical uh, scenario with administration of medication, you're no longer following this rhythm. You have to understand that the half-life or what's known as the excretion, metabolism, and excretion of a medication. Uh, Half-life is just a fancy term to say, how long does it take until half of the original medication is still remaining in your system? And the half-life of most testosterone esters that we use in the United States are approximately one week. So if I gave you a unit of testosterone that got your serum level to just say, let's say 1000, presumably you will be at 500 a week later. Presumably, again, this pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic approach varies slightly from one individual to another. It can have big variations depending on other factors. So again, when we use medication, always, this is just a general safety rule in medicine, uh, you always want to test the trough level. And the reason you want to do this is because you want to avoid um, toxicity risk, especially with hormones, it's a little less, you know, there, there's much less risk with hormones. Nobody really overdoses on a hormone. Yes, you can have some adverse reactions. They may not make you feel your best. Um, you know, acute reactions to hormones are very rare and, and very unlikely. With medications that are often given in, 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 in heart patients, um, like the Jackson, for example, and other things like potassium and other sorts of medications that are introduced intramuscularly or intravenously. Generally speaking, you can have severe adverse reactions if the peak levels reach certain uh, serums. So we always want to measure a trough because the understanding is that if I measure a trough, this is the low point. We know that you're going to be higher at the high point. There's no point on testing an hour after injection. We know you're going to peak. I want to see how low you're going to get because the trough is right before the next administration. And if the trough is too high, you may want to hold off the next administration of that medication. So we're always checking to make sure that you've dropped low enough before the next administration. This is just common medical practice. Why is it done with hormones? To be honest with you, if your hormones are monitored and, and administered correctly, you really shouldn't have much of a peak in a trough. You really should follow sort of a little bit of a flat curve considering the lengthy half-life that we're using combined with proper frequencies that are at least half of the half-life and maybe even more. So a two or three or more time per week frequency on testosterone cypionate will not really give you a peak in a trough. You're gonna be pretty flat across the board. If you're having dramatic peaks and troughs on hormones, uh, you're probably not being administered correctly and managed correctly. Because if you think about it, there's gonna be a level where you feel your best and there are gonna be levels where you don't feel so great. Why do you ever want to achieve the levels where you don't feel great? Why do you want to just hit that, that really good point on the way down or on the way up and then kind of live there for just a short period and then get out of it? You want to find that sweet spot and maintain that zone indefinitely if you're doing a good job at management or if your provider is doing a good job at management. So I really wouldn't say we're testing peaks and troughs on TRT uh, unless you're injecting once every other week, which we already know is a terrible protocol approach. Even once a week is, is rarely going to be optimized for, for most guys. So if you're doing this correctly, there are no peaks and troughs. I don't care when our patients come in to test because our goal is stabilization and optimization, not putting them on a roller coaster ride. So I know it's a common belief, but um, again, now you, ha you have an understanding of why troughs are measured in general. But again, if your hormones are done correctly, you're not going to really experience that.
Okay, that's clear. Before we continue, if you appreciate the content we bring to this channel, check out the Amazon links in the description of this video. These are the links to the products we use, going from supplements, protein powder, pre, post, intra-workout, anti-aging cream, sunscreen, needles and syringes to inject, and so on. If you'd like to purchase one of those products, please use the direct link so that it will earn us a few cents as a tip, and you'll be guided directly to the products we recommend. Thanks in advance. All links should work on the US, Canadian and UK Amazon stores. Consider becoming a channel member for exclusive features, like loyalty badges, early access to new videos, funny stuff like rough cuts and bloopers, members only photos and status updates on the community tab, and members only live stream chat. On desktop, use the join button next to the subscribe. On mobile, use the join link in the description. And now, give this video a thumbs up and go watch one of these videos to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.